Welcome back everybody, it's your boy Sleepy Boy with another Sakura Succubus 5 episode 11. Yeah, this time we're gonna do phone intimacy, if you know what I'm saying. I'm not gonna say the S-E ends with the letter X word, but phone and that word. Haha. <laughs> So going back to it, if you're new to this channel, thank you, uh, and please support this channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing it to your friends and loved ones. If you're not new, comment down below uh, what you think about the video, or want more Corrupted Kingdoms, or you can rec recommend me some games. But I can't 100% say that I'll be finishing it under a day or a week, so the uploads might be slow. And there are other games that I'm also playing, and I'm also... Sleepy has a life, okay? Just like every single one of my subscribers and viewers, okay? So, it's hard to juggle them, especially when you're a college student. But yeah, going back to the game. I mightn't be able to hold you, but I can always imagine that I am. And I care for you so greatly, your words alone would be enough to make me happy. I know what you is getting at, of course. Her sultry voice... Ma her sultry voices make... What the flip? Her sultry voices makes it apparent enough, even if her bedroom eyes don't, and her plaintive and and and, and entrees, no entreaties can't fail to move me. She's so cute. How could I possibly refuse? Grinning, I observe her and say, "Of course I wouldn't mind. It's funny you feel the need to ask. Really, given you are my girlfriend, you ought to know how attractive I find you by now." I'm hardly about to turn you down. I couldn't, even if I wanted to, which I don't. I'm completely in your thrall. Oh. Oh, what? I wake up early the following morning to the sound of birdsong filtering in through the window, mingled with the distinctive striking of heeled shoes against a wooden floor. Yawning, I crack both eyes all opened and sit up in bed. Boom. Thumbnail. Sam. Somebody wants some. Wait, no, no, I can't really sing. Slippy can't sing. I told you, man. <laughs> Slippy can't sing because he got bubbling. I'm not alone in my room. As I surmise by the sounds of high heels, Stefania's maid, the one who greeted me at the airport, is busy sweeping up. A broom in one hand, though she still turns politely to greet me. Good morning, Mr. Ogasawara. Ogasawara. I hope I did not disturb you while I was tidying up. If I awoke you, I must apologize and we return to your slumber if so desired. Oh no, it's fine. It's pretty late as it is. I glance at my phone, which I left charging on the bedside table and take a look. It's about 8.43. I guess it's not as late as I feared, but if I were back in Japan, I'd be panicking right about now. It's not uncommon for me to wake up at 6.30 so I can get ready, grab some breakfast, and take the train to work. I'm used to getting up the way you're... I, I'm used to getting up way earlier than this. I had quite the lie in, all things considered. Maybe so, but you did have a busy day yesterday. I hope you don't feel too weary from your flight. A little, I guess, but getting some exercise and some fresh air would be better than lying in bed. I think I'd be ashamed to come to this beautiful country only to waste my days indoors. I won't be very lo I won't be here very long. I want to make the most of things while I can. I remember going to Japan and then my mother like showed me well, her place, you know, some locations. My god, that was a hectic two weeks. She really wanted to jam pack um, the schedule because well, as, as we all know, ticket, plane tickets aren't as, you know, affordable. <laughs> so it was one of my chances to see Japan and absorb its culture and all the beautiful people in it. Yeah. Well, that's just sleepy, just, you know, sleepy boy here just rambling around random stuff. But yeah, going back to the game. Why, thank you. I'm gratified to hear you say that. It's always nice to hear one's praise owns one's own home country. The maid, what was her name again? I'm sure she told me it was... Smiles faintly, Elizabeth. She's not a very expressive woman, but her pale face looks like the rest of her body to be carved from marble, but its smile though small serves to light up her eyes. Framed by one of the windows as she is, bathed in the early morning sunlight, she looks almost radiant. If it weren't for the black and white maid's garb she is attired in, I'd, I'd be tempted to make mistake her for the princess. She's certainly regal enough. I do so hope you enjoy your stay in Astoria, Mr. Gasawara. 
As you said, it is a very pleasant country indeed. I myself am very fond of it. I can see why I've not seen much of it yet, but it really does look like, look like something from a fairy tale. I only caught a glimpse of the streets yesterday on my journey to the palace, but the bits of Rosenberg I caught through the windows look enticing. I think it'd be nice to go for a stroll, although it's charming streets alongside Ifumi or Marlo or Hazel. Speaking of which... Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Oh, this is very interesting. Uh, we literally promise you we are not gonna be banging any other babes But that's Hiroki's problem not us, you know, this is sleepy's control. You know what I'm saying sleepy boy be like, do you know what Starfarnia is? You wish to know about my lady The maid what was her name? I can't keep calling her by her title smiles for some reason She looks especially pleased by my inquiry though. Why I don't know Maybe she just likes talking about Stefania in the same way pet owners like gushing about their dogs and cats. Would that make Stefania her maid's pet? Maybe she wouldn't look too bad in a collar. Whoa, calm down, Hiroki. We just got here, man. She is in the parlor, taking breakfast with Miss Yamamoto. The two appear to be very close, much to my gratification. It's nice to see my lady interacting with others, particularly those close to her in age. Sorry if you see the cursor. Try to move it out of the way. You know what? Let me check the game capture just real quick. Alright. Alright, you won't be seeing the cursor. Haha. <laughs> Except for some other games, of course. Miss Williams, meanwhile, has gone to the tennis course to practice, and Miss Wakatsuki is currently attending some business meeting or another. Ah, I see. I nod. That's about as I expected, really. I'm not surprised by my companion's whereabouts, but I am a little surprised this maid is so very on top of things. Is it your job to know everything that's going on in the palace? Naturally. The maid nods, and setting down her brush, approaches my bedside. As my lady's number one maid, I cannot let any detail, no matter how subtle, escape my attention. I must be fully abreast of all that is occurring so I might properly serve her. Part of being a maid is preempting my lady's wants so I can satisfy her needs before she feels the need to voice her commands. I would so hate for her to waste her breath when she has so many matters of import to attend. Is that so? I grin. You sound pretty devoted. Talk about being a super maid. Oh, I am not so special really. I simply try to remain focused at any and all time for my lady's sake. One never knows after all when she might summon me. Does Stefania, sorry, her highness, rely on you a lot then? Indeed she does. I do not mind that, though I like being relied on, it is nice feeling useful, and it is not hard work for it and it is not hard to work for my lady's sake either. She is a sweet kind girl and she always makes her hap her appreciation well known. I am honored to serve her. Yeah, I get that. I didn't get along well with my boss before, so I had like no motivation to work. It was pretty cruddy. His attitude shifted recently though, and he's been more complimentary about my work. That makes me feel more inclined to put in an honest effort. Indeed, one's efficiency in the workplace can often be attributed to one's superiors. Nobody likes to feel that their time is not being respected. The maid is her name... Elise? Eleanor? It was definitely something western. Nods. Fortunately for me, I could ask for no better employer than my lady. She truly is a credit to the royal family and to her kingdom. Her heart is of the gentlest, noblest sort. I have never met any woman like her. Wow. I whistle. She sounds pretty remarkable. I always imagined the nobility as being stuck up and selfish. Let them eat cake, you know. But I guess Sephiroth is different. I think that was like... Who was that? Who was that French queen? Was it Elizabeth? I, I don't know. Mary Antoinette? No, that's different. That was, that was how pretty much the French Revolution slowly gained traction. Let them get, eat cake! They can't eat anything? Indeed she is. Uh, sorry, going back to the game. Indeed she is. She is a treasure. She is a treasure, as I hope you will soon uncover, should you get to know her. 
Do you think I could? I frown. The princess didn't invite me to the palace per se. That invitation was extended to Hifumi. I'm tagging along as her plus one. Wouldn't it be a bit, I don't know, presumptuous for a commoner like me to try and speak to a princess? I do not think so, no. My lady uh, is open to conversing with anybody from all walks of life. If only they remember their manners. You seem a polite young man, Mr. Ogasawara, so I doubt my lady will take umbrage with you. Umbrage. Haha, <laughs> well, thanks for the compliment. I'm not sure if I'm all that worthy of it, though. My manners leave a lot to be desired. I can't be all that polite given I can't remember the maid's name despite my attempts. But to be fair, I was pretty tired last night. It's a bit awkward though, conversing with a woman who knows my name while I can't remember hers. Boom! Blammo! So, Sleepy, sleepy Boy's um, ex uh, first year in college, you know, a different university. Way more expensive, my goodness. I know some people, but I also know, I barely know other people's names, but they don't mind. Because my, my real name is a little bit unique. If you do, remember it, and if you can pronounce it well. If you can't, you can just call me by my last name. Either way, they can remember my name really easily. While I find it hard to remember names of other people, especially if it's just, we met, like the time that we've met, like barely, barely even half a day or two hours, so I can't really remember names. Takes me a month. Best I could do is maybe a week or two if I really try hard enough. But yeah, that's just me adding into my, you know, walk of life. <laughs> Is there a subtle way I can ask her about it without looking too rude? It is true, your manner of speaking is... Unpolished, shall we say? Ouch, is that a polite way of saying I talk, I talk like a thug? But I do not think there is anything wrong with it. It is quite amusing, in fact, to hear you speak so within the walls of the palace. It is rare for us to receive guests such as you, Mr. Gasawara. I'm sure the princess will find your company most intriguing. You think? I am certain of it, as aff affable as my lady is, it is where she has a chance to make friends, being a princess can be quite isolated. Oh, I can imagine that. Yue has a lot of duties to contend with herself. As the queen of the succubus realm, it is where she's ever afforded the chance to leave her domain. I bet Sephina's situation is similar. I wonder whether she's even allowed to leave the palace without an entourage of armed guards keeping her safe. It sounds stifling. I would be happy if you would make my lady's acquaintance as I, am as I am sure would she. I would not wish to impinge upon your schedule but it would be nice if you could speak to her. Interesting. Yes I would, maid. <laughs> Elizabeth. Oh sure, I guess I'll head down to the parlor then. Um, I glance down at myself. I'm still wearing my pajamas then scratch my cheek. I should probably get dressed first though. Perhaps you should, yes. As charming as her nightwear is, it, it would behoove you to freshen up. The maid smiles. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sleepy about to drop dead. And literally, I'm sleepy right now. No cap. I'm, I'm tired. The maid smiles sardonically, then bows her head. I should leave you to it then. Farewell for now, Mr. Ogasawara. And if you were in any doubt, the maid pauses by my bedside and looks to me from over her shoulder. My name is Elizabeth. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance once more. Huh? I look at the maid. Sorry, Elizabeth. Blankly. I was doing my best to hide my confusion. R.E. Her name. But I guess I must have let it slip. Though, how exactly, I don't know. Is this woman psychic? All of a sudden, her amber-eyed gaze is looking pretty intense. How do you know I'd forgotten her name? You think? Let's just say I had a feeling. She's a succubus. Yup. Elizabeth love, laughs, laughs, oh, laughy, I'm laughing, you fucking bastard, oh. Elizabeth laughs softly. I flatter myself, I have a talent when it comes to diving the thoughts of men. Is that another one of your duties as a princess top maid? Oh no, these instincts of mine are quite divorced from my maidly duties. A maid though I may be, I am a woman too. Please do not forget it. I have desires of my own and I'm not afraid to act upon them. Oh, I already know. She's a succubus. My instinct. I mean, it's a, they're literally in a cover. Sakura succubus. Why would anybody with a named character not be a succubi? So now, I guess Hiroki has to bang seven women or eight 
I'm, I'm still like, I don't know if Stefania is a succubi. Or like, we're not really sure about that. After dressing, Elizabeth leads me downstairs to the parlor where Stefania and Ifumi are waiting for me, both seated at a fancy looking coffee table. Stefania is wearing the same re re regal blue gown she wore when she were, no, she wore, were, what? When greeting us at the airport yesterday, while Hifumi is as always in her kimono. Hifumi must be wearing contact lenses because she isn't wearing her thick rim glasses. And that's where I end this video right here. Before we go to 16 minutes, we're close. And thank you for watching this vid. Oh my god, Sleepy's like messed up. Thank you for watching this video. Once again, I'll be seeing the next episode of Cor uh, Corrupted Kingdom. Sorry. Sucker Succubus 5. And hope you have a wonderful day, week. Good luck to whatever you're going through. And bye.